All right, so let's talk a little bit about uh, uranium. This is one of our favorite cubes. Uh, these are sellouts all the time. Uranium metal, many people don't even know that you can actually own real radioactive uranium metal. And the truth is that the U.S. government does allow it, does allow you to own it and buy and sell it, as long as you observe certain um, rules and restrictions. One of them is that a commercial dealer can only sell up to, I think it's 15 kilograms per year. That's a lot of uranium, and um, it's an expensive metal, so we are nowhere near close to uh, that limit. Another one um, is that you can't export it to uh, other countries without a special permit from the U.S. government. We don't have that permit, so we simply don't send it overseas. Um, the other notable uh, aspect of these cubes is that you will not be able to uh, tell any radiation if you have like a Geiger counter. The reason being is that uh, the type of radiation that uranium metal emits is alpha particles. And these are relatively large particles that cannot get through uh, most materials. Even air is enough to stop it. So when you know it's an inch deep into uh, this acrylic, there's just no hope of it getting out. Uh, there's very small amounts of, once once the uranium decays, it decays into other radioactive elements which do have traces of um, those other elements which may emit gamma rays or beta rays, which are picked up. But the amount is so small, not even measurable by... Uh, outside of a laboratory. So you will not be able to measure any radioactivity as shown. I mean, if you take a sledgehammer to this and break it open, then that's a different story. But um, for those who are concerned, oh my God, you know, am I going to get cancer by holding this? No, uh, there's really nothing to worry about as long as you do not break it out. That would take a concerted effort. This This thick acrylic is... A nightmare to uh, to break open. I mean, you could use an angle grinder or a drill, and you could do the job, but uh, it's something that's going to take a lot of effort on your part. Uh, and if you did that, it would still not be harmful as long as you didn't uh, put it inside your body one way or another. In which case, uh, then it would be harmful, and you could be at a much higher likelihood of getting cancer. But let's uh, focus on the cheery aspect. Uh, these cubes are uh, quite a conversation piece uh, for anybody who loves science. Uh, you have a little bit of depleted uranium here. Uh, uranium in nature is um, mostly depleted uranium already, but it's not called depleted because it's not artificially um, um, enriched. So when the uh, nuclear reactor takes natural uranium, they're looking for uranium-235, and that isotope is um, what they're really after because that's the good kind for starting a chain reaction. And uh, once they take that little bit of uranium-235, the rest is 238, which they call depleted uranium. This is depleted uranium, uh, what you're left with. And uh, there's tons and tons of it that comes out of the reactors, and most of it gets thrown away. It does not, does not make its way into uh, commercial um, outfits of any kind. There's no projects really that call for making, you know, stuff out of uranium metal because it is radioactive, and a small piece like this is not a big deal, but you wouldn't want to have, I don't know, a bicycle make, made out of it because that's a different story. Anyway, uh, so what few uses there are are usually limited to uh, government bodies. And I'm babbling on and on here. If you have any questions about this metal or concerns or anything, please let me know in the comments and I'll try to get back to you. For now, this is Raciel at Luciteria. Thank you for watching.